Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy. And real quick today, I'm just gonna show you how you can use templates with Rome Research. So if you're using Rome Research, you're probably watching this video, uh, or if you were just curious uh, if you can do this, this is great. Um, at the time of recording this video, this is something that's fairly new. And I had been using a text expander, uh, text blaze, which is uh, great and continuing to use that. But it's nice to have some of this uh, now in Rome where you can use templates for things you use again and again. So what I've done, I've actually got a, a page called templates and I have uh, started so it shows up in my shortcuts and I've just got it open in the side so you can see uh, what these look like. So for projects, um, it, the way you actually create a template is pretty simple. You give it a keyword or a name uh, that will be useful or you'll remember it. Um, in this case, you know, if you have projects, that would be something. I think something a lot of people would use is probably books or video, something like that. And then after that, you do the old uh, double brackets and just put in Rome uh, slash templates. Okay, and then indent, and that's the important part. You've got to indent after that and put in whatever it is you need. These are fairly simple templates, um, but yours could be more complex just as your needs uh, arise. You can do that. So let's see how you do this. To actually kind of call the template, you use two semicolons. So you just type it twice and you'll see um, all of them that you have. So let's just type on one here, like the books. Boom, there you go. All right, and so what it does is it pulls everything that was underneath the uh, keyword or name, if you will, and just puts it in there. So super handy, super simple. Uh, it's great. It's uh, really effective and a big time saver. If you're not using these, uh, you know, and I'm of the, uh, I'm a believer of, you know, I don't want to overcomplicate uh, my using Rome. Uh, I see it being more useful as a place for me to put information and, you know, to use minimal structure uh, so that I'm spending more time on using it and using the information and, and connecting instead of uh, tinkering. But uh, I think anyone uh, could find this really, really useful and a big time saver. So things like uh, daily routines, things like book reviews, um, or just a general note, if you wanna have a structure on any page you create, that can be another effective one using something like this. If you have a source, uh, tags, any general notes, that can be a great one as well. So. Hopefully this helps you and ends up saving you some time with Rome Research.